The Philadelphia Eagles franchise was established in 1933, making it one of the NFL's oldest teams. Though still searching for their first Super Bowl championship, much to the dismay of their famously rabid fan base, the Eagles have no shortage of great players who have donned their uniforms. Here are the top 10 Philadelphia Eagles of all time. At number 10, Jerome Brown. The man in the middle of Buddy Ryan's fierce defenses in the late 80s and early 90s, Brown was taken out of Miami with the ninth overall pick of the 1987 draft. In his five seasons, Brown notched 29 and a half sacks and was selected as an All-Pro and a Pro Bowler in each of his final two seasons. Unfortunately, Brown's career and life were cut short when in June of 1992, he crashed his Corvette into a utility pole. He was only 27. This has become one of the greatest what-ifs in NFL history as Brown was beginning to establish himself as one of the best defensive players in the league. At number 9 is Harold Carmichael. At 6'8", this larger-than-life wide receiver towered over opposing defenses and was a force for the Eagles in the red zone. By the end of his 13-year career in Philadelphia, Carmichael had made the all-decade team of the 70s, four Pro Bowls, and held every major receiving record for the team. In 1998, Carmichael would return to the organization as the Director of Player and Community Relations as well as a Fan Engagement Liaison until his retirement in 2015. Number 8, Tommy McDonald. In his seven seasons in Philadelphia, McDonald went to five Pro Bowls, led the league in touchdown receptions twice, and yards once. In the 1960 NFL Championship game, McDonald scored a touchdown and led the game in receiving yards to help the Eagles beat the Green Bay Packers. By the end of his Hall of Fame career, McDonald's 84 touchdown receptions were good enough for second ever at the time, cementing his status as one of the first great receiving threats in NFL history. Number 7 is Pete Pios. This pre-Super Bowl era tight end got his career off to a fast start by helping the Eagles win back-to-back -back championships in his second and third seasons, scoring a touchdown in the latter. Throughout his nine-year career, Pios was a five-time All-Pro and a six-time Pro Bowler. He also led the league in receptions three times, yards twice, and touchdowns once. These accomplishments led to his induction into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1970. Number 6, Jason Peters. In 2009, Peters was traded by the Buffalo Bills to Philadelphia for a first-round pick. Since then, Peters has been nothing short of fantastic. As the anchor of Philadelphia's offensive line, Peters' unusual combination of size and speed make him a threat in both the run and pass game. He has made the Pro Bowl every season since coming to Philadelphia, except for 2012 when he ruptured his Achilles twice in the offseason. Amazingly, the following season, he was voted first-team All-Pro. Even into his mid-30s, Peters is still one of the top left tackles in the league. Don't be surprised if you see this former undrafted free agent in Canton someday soon. At number 5 is number 5 himself, Donovan McNabb, drafted number 2 overall in the 1999 NFL Draft. McNabb led the Eagles to their most successful era in decades by reaching four straight NFC Championship games, the final leading to Philadelphia's first Super Bowl appearance since 1980. McNabb went 98, 62, and 1 with the Eagles. Though he was never quite able to get over the hump and get a Lombardi trophy, he was still extremely successful and the team has struggled to find a suitable replacement for him since his departure in 2009. In 2013, McNabb's number was retired, cementing him as an Eagles legend. Number 4, Steve Van Buren. Arguably the greatest running back in team history, in just eight seasons, Van Buren's resume extends far beyond many of his peers. His accomplishments include being a four-time rushing leader, a four-time touchdowns leader, and a six-time first-team All-Pro. But Van Buren was at his best on the biggest stage of all. In the 1948 NFL Championship game, he scored the lone touchdown in the Eagles' 7-0 victory over the Chicago Cardinals. The following season, Van Buren's 196 rushing yards helped secure the team's second straight championship. Often forgotten in history, it is not hard to see why this running back has his own place in Canton. Number 3, Brian Dawkins. Also known as Weapon X, Dawkins was the heart and soul of the Philadelphia Eagles for 12 years. With 6 All-Pros and 9 Pro Bowls, Dawkins was one of the best defensive players of his era. Both a leader on and off the field, the explosive tone he set was only matched by his passion for the game, one that inspired his teammates and struck fear into opponents. Philadelphia has still not won a playoff game since Dawkins' departure in 2008, showing the massive void he's left behind. Still a massive fan favorite to this day, Dawkins' spirit has never quite left Philadelphia. Number two, 
Reggie White. Perhaps the greatest pass rusher of all time, White was signed by the Eagles after two seasons with the USFL's Memphis Showboats. During his eight seasons in Philadelphia, White recorded 125 sacks, which is more than a sack a game. White also made six All-Pro teams and seven Pro Bowls with the Eagles, but his 1987 campaign was probably his finest. That season, White accumulated 21 sacks in just 12 games and took home Defensive Player of the Year honors. The only reason White is not at the top spot is his six-year run with the Green Bay Packers. While he is most well known as an Eagle, many Green Bay fans still claim him as their own. But both sides can agree, he is definitely not a Carolina Panther. Number 1. Chuck Bidnarik To put it simply, Bidnarik is Philadelphia. Tough, blue-collared, and not afraid to get his mangled hands dirty. Known as the last of the two-way players, Bidnarik played both center and linebacker to great effect. Playing each of his 14 seasons for his hometown team, Concrete Charlie helped the Eagles win two NFL championships and was named to five All-Pro teams in five seasons from 1950 to 1954. However, his most famous moment came in late 1960 when he knocked Frank Gifford of the New York Giants out cold. This hit sealed an important victory for the Eagles, who would go on to win the championship later that season. The hit also put Gifford out of football for 18 months, showing Bidnarik's sheer brutality. There will always be great players, but there will never be another concrete Charlie, simply because they don't make players quite like Chuck anymore.